Hello everyone, etc. here bringing you episode 43 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emoziwa Gamer. So, in the last episode we finally finished all of immersive engineering. And we didn't finish cleaning up the whole island though, because these machines take us forever to move. Uh, today, like I told you in last episode, I want to get into bees. And the reason I want to get into bees is that I, I want to have a chance to start unlocking some more stuff. And bees is going to be something that's going to help unlock... Um, oh, it's actually not going to help unlock anything that useful. Well, I'm kind of sad. It's just this map's been changing forever. But sorry. So I want to get started with bees because bees are going to take a long time because there's a lot of breeding that has to be done. The one thing with bees is that we're going to need a crap ton of bronze. Like, you have no idea how much bronze. And the way we're going to make bronze is through bronze blend. And bronze blend is made with three pulverized copper and one pulverized tin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling out nine stack of copper so one two three four five six seven eight nine oh my god that's almost all of my copper one two three four five six seven eight nine perfect and three of ten that's the ten yeah two three and i'm going to transform all of that and you know what it's raining and it's night so might as well sleep to get rid of the rain i've been getting so much rain these days it's kind of crazy ah voila so i'm gonna go right here and I'm going to throw all of this in the crusher because this is going to take a while. Uh, some more. More, 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 and more. I think this is one of the machines that you can accelerate with the lubricant. So let me take a quick look. What if I take you right now? And let's see if I can place you in. Oh, yes. So like this, nope, that didn't seem to work. Or is it on the other side and I'm just looking at the wrong machine? I don't know how to make it connect for sure every time. I mean, the fact that I'm kind of stuck in between the two machines doesn't help, but oh yes, it is connected now. So let me get my lubricant transfer, and by lubricant transfer I mean the lubricant can. Uh, right here. And let's grab all of the lubricant that I have. Oh, this is empty. And this is gasoline. This is diesel. This is oil. Okay, so it is fully empty. Derp! I'm going to have to make more lubricant because when I broke it, I ended up losing all of my lubricant. Let me grab some oil. And put it in here. And let me get rid of the water bucket. Although I don't need it because I have so little oil. That it's not as if I can do that much with it. Voila! Oh, and there's no power getting to that machine because the other one started first and the other one's using the power. So I could have made it faster if I had a lubricant, but unfortunately I don't have lubricant right now, so it's going to have to stay like a slow machine. And this is biodiesel. You know what? I might as well just get rid of the. Oh no, it's biodiesel, it's not diesel. So that I have to wait for later. So I'm ready with all of that, and I've started my bronze, so I can actually start on my bees. I want to keep the bees close to this area, because we're going to need a lot of the forestry machine. So I figure I might as well keep the uh, the bees really close. That being said, if you look here, this is like a forest biome, all of this here. And I think I want to work in a forest biome. So I'm going to go and grab some dirt. Oh, not you, just some dirt and some uh, cobblestone big tile. And I'm going to start a new island right here. And I'm just going to do a quick setup, nothing fancy. So that I can start using, uh, start getting, oh God, start working on bees. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, th three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Mm, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to need to also light this whole place up. And you know what? I'm doing this in the wrong order. So let's just give me a moment. So this. Whoa. Okay. 
I thought it was going to fall, although there should be no panic because that's not going to do anything. So first, I need a chest. Chest, chest, chest. Right here. And I need a... I'm going to do this so cheap and dirty, guys. You're not... You might not like the dirty solution, but right now I don't want to waste any time. So I need a hopper and a chest, and I'm just going to do a dirty um, automation. Not right here. And let's grab five of those, or oh, 10. And I'm gonna make two hopper, and I'm gonna grab the third chest. So two hoppers. And one chest. And what I meant by a, no, give me the chest. What I meant by a dirty automation is that I want to start to get some um, pumpkins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. I'm going to break this and this. I don't really need to break both of them, but oh, I should probably, <laughs> should probably have turned this on. I always kind of forget. So let's. Try back, put this, and then down here and put a chest, and right back here. Grab this, and now I can do hopper like this, and close this back. Perfect. So this is going to be my pumpkin field. Completely forgot. I want to set it up as fast as possible because I need to start getting pumpkin seeds like yesterday. I really am going to need a crazy amount of pumpkin seed. So I'm going to need this these sticks and let's grab these just in case and the clipper and let's get started you know what is there any charge oh the ring of growth is full so that's worth it because i'm going to need to grow things faster if i want to copy my field as fast as possible so i grabbed everything i could from here and now we're just going to get started with this so let's just go like this Et voila, and let's grab these pumpkin clipping. Now, ring of growth. Ha <laughs> ha. It's kind of growing too fast. So if you understand what's going on, it's that it's getting collected by this machine too fast. Yeah, the farmer's collecting everything faster than I'm growing it. Et voila. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I have to do this as fast as I can before the farmer decides to grab everything. 22. Man, starting a field now is so much easier. Remember before how everything was longer? Now with a 10, 10, 10 field, I'm just producing a mass amount of resource really fast. And with the ring of growth, you saw how fast the field is growing. I was just able to grab 22 more split. And voila, so let's go on the ring of growth again, just a little bit, and let's go back to the clippers. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to need at least another 30 something, I think. Perfect. Whoa, hello? That was a weird display. So going to quickly finish this field see this is one of the things I should be doing in the time lapse but I don't have I have so many things to do in a time lapse this is the thing like this is why I like doing it my way I always felt that when you were watching these videos from some other youtubers that they get so much done all the time but the truth is that a mud pack like this is at least a good 60 hours of play if not more because it's not all good time, which is why I'm trying to find the fastest ways of doing things and try and find some tips and tricks to make it as fast as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Let's just fill those. Oh, I'm missing one crop stick. You know what? It's going to have to do. And eh, let's get rid of this. And now we're getting pumpkins aplenty. And if I just hold this a little bit, I'll get my field to grow super fast. And then you see that this is just going to harvest everything. Oh, I should probably make one of those pedestal. If it wasn't for 
how much RF this these ring of growth use, I could have a like a pedestal of growth, a pedestal and put the ring of growth on it and just accrue stuff like crazy. Because you see, that's already two stacks of pumpkin. That's gonna be enough for now. Let's go back to our island because since this is going to be growing and collecting, at least it's going to be moving forward. So now we can be back to our previous task, which was to make the uh, the field for the for the bees. Uh, what am I searching for? I'm searching for my diamond wand, and you know what? There's another thing that I forgot that we have to start. So let's get some wires. Uh, some for the time being. I still stay with LV wire, even though I want to move on to the HV wire quickly. I'm just not ready right now. So LV wire connector, LV wire relay, and only one LV wire relay. I don't want to make more, so I'm gonna have to live with that. But this is not ideal for me. I also have no more of these posts. So can I make some posts quickly? So I'm gonna go post like this. Oh, there's steel posts and aluminum posts. Okay, that's kind of cool. Don't know if they're better, but we can make those posts maybe later. Uh, I have enough to make four, so I'm gonna need how many stones? I'm going to need, well, four stone because it's four times four. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to break and make into four stone brick. And finish those posts. Like so. Et voila. I guess I already had some wooden fence. Okay. And I'm just going to put this right here and the LV wire relay right there and this to this perfect and now I can put down my next machine I need another centrifuge uh, not centrifuge squeezer this is going to be my squeezer for um, to make oil so I'm going to go connect this right here and I'm going to pre-fill this where's my other hopper perfect so I'm going to hopper a crazy amount of pumpkin seeds in here. Let's grab this. Let's grab that. Let's fill this one first. Ah, everything fits in there. I thought I was going to need the hopper. I'll need the hopper a bit later. And now that this has started, my first piece of lag at only 12 minutes in. That's kind of fun. <sighs> a new update is coming soon. And hopefully it's going to solve a lot of these lag issue because right now there really isn't much of anything I can do. Where are my torches? I just want some torches so that the field doesn't start creating monsters, like some mobs. So let's go like this and here and here and one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two. Perfect. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so that should light up the extern the exterior well enough. And let me grab this ring of magnetization. Is it still on? No, now it's on. Break this, and then we can start setting. Whoa! And I'm gonna make the whole field out of flower. Uh not out of flower, I mean out of grass. I don't know that I need that much, but just think it's going to be easier this way. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to make full use of the ring of magnetization to care, grab all of that. And then this bit, because I ended up putting two layer, which is not something I wanted. And let's grab this two layer here. Oh, did I lose some? I hope I didn't lose any dirt. And my tool is completely gone. So let's just do that. And whew, I didn't lose any dirt. Good thing. I was worried there for a moment that I might have lost some dirt. So we need a field of um, dirt because we're going to want some um, grass because the bee attractor needs some flower 
and all of the bee breeding that we're going to need uh, do is all going to need some flour also. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that should perfectly cover. And then a one, two, this should be the middle. Yeah, this is the middle. So I'm gonna break this right here and we're going to be able to do the next start, next step now. Next step is grass. And because of my nice little pickaxe that has a um, smooth uh, silken, uh, silken jewel on it, I can just pick up the grass like this very easily. And now it's night, so it's not going to work. Uh, where's this? I'm looking for my watering can. Perfect. So because it's night, I won't be able to water the field. But once it's day, I'm going to be able to use the watering can and make this work super fast. So let's refill my water and let's get our bronze started while we're waiting because everything's always going to be waiting on something from that one. This is still working. Let's see how far we got. We got all of the tin done. Now we're still waiting for the copper. So still no bronze. Did I start any bronze in here last time? Nope. I wish I had at least a stack of copper because this is going to make nine. This is a ridiculous amount. Let's see what I can make with this. Six, not even nine. Six craft, which is 24. And I'll just put that back in here for now. Let's go start that cooking at least. It's not like very useful, but at least it's some bronze. And I think we already had some bronze. I'm just going to have to pick it up. This is split. Perfect. So now that my field is done, I'm kind of waiting for the day. While I'm waiting for the day, we're finally going to get started on the first quest. So the first quest is attracting bees. The bee attractor uses power and seed oil for attracting bees. So I'm going to need to build a bee attractor, which is going to be some... Um, bronze if I remember so be a tractor oh no it's not bronze well yeah three bronze one impregnated casing and five planks so I told you I was going to need a lot of seed oil well first of all I'm going to need 500 C, uh, mega a millibucket of seed oil for this but I also need to make an impregnated casing which also need 250 millibucket of seed oil so I need eight wood and then some plank Let's just grab that for now and let's go check. I'm pretty sure I don't have any impregnated casing because last time I had made one only. So no, I don't have any. Oh, some more seeds. Let's grab a bucket. And what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to transfer myself one bucket of seed oil into our carpenter right here. So one bucket in here. Going to throw all of these seeds in here. And then here I'm going to say, I want to make an impregnated casing. I'm gonna put eight, and this is not power. So I need some more LV wire relay. Well, no, sorry, LV wires connector. So LV wire connector, these, I'm going to have to make at least one bunch. Like I wanna stop using it, but until I'm ready to move everything to it, I still need to use it a little bit, so I'm just going to need make four for now. And that I'm going to try to keep it at that for the time being. In the meantime, uh, in between episode, I've been starting to make some aluminum and steel wire. So you can see I have 92 steel wire, I have 24 aluminum. Might as well start another stack of aluminum. Is this the aluminum? Yes, and I still have 182. So I made this setup, which I love. This is what I call the every necessary step. Plate, wire, I think this one is rod, and this one is which again? Oh, gear. So gear, unfortunately, is not as useful as I was hoping. Uh, usually when you need to make gear, the this gear stamper works for everything. Unfortunately, the gear stamper does not work for bronze gear. So even though having some bronze gear would be super useful, in this pack, it wasn't made like that. So the bronze gear is something that I still have to make in the very expensive bad way. I say bad way because I find it bad. I don't like that we have to do it through a crafting recipe. First of all, it's using four bronze every time. And second of all, it's long. 
Whereas I could just stamp the gears if they, the recipe had been there. That would have been amazing. So I'm going to grab this bronze. And I still need to connect my power. So that's what I'm going to go do right now to get my impregnated casing. Oh, huh. The grass started spreading. That's good. I'm going to need the grass to spread. So the less I, least I have to do, the faster this is going to happen. So this is now making my impregnated casing. Haha, -ha, perfect. Almost ready. And once this is done, I'm going to need two sets of plank. Hello. Hey, sometimes the crafting is just so wonky. And this seems to be like, I'm not the only one who has that bug. I think it's something with the new recipe. Oh, okay. There's something else I want to tell you. Let me just do this quickly. And then I'll tell you what I want to do. So impregnated casing. So the next thing I was talking about is one impregnated casing. Four, uh, five planks and three bronze like this. One, two, three. Oh, just three. So this is going to make our bee attractor, which should be super fast. Right here. And I'm not going to put my bee attractor far because I need to be able to plug it. So I'm going to put my bee attractor here. Hopefully this is close enough. So let's link this to this, please. Yes, it works. Perfect. And it's date. So... Let's start having the grass just expand. Then we're going to go grab a couple of bone meal and just, we're going to bone meal this field to get some flowers. Uh, let's go. The bee attractor is getting juice. So the bee attractor grabs a ton of power, by the way. Like it's going to be drinking power like crazy. So it's not a bad thing that I let it fill with power first. And this is going to give us our first bees. Hello, perfect. And I'm going to show you, okay. The other thing I want to do is that now this is done, we need to start making some impregnated stick. So this is the recipe for impregnated stick and it uses how much? It uses a hundred seed oil at a time and we're going to need a lot of it. So I'm just going to let it go like this. I'm going to just use it this way. Oh, crap. This power cable, the fact that it's not coming from the root, are you kidding me? This is kind of annoying, these weird kind of connection. Anyway, so because it's not in a position from going up to down, I end up always moving in it, in the field, which I don't want. So I'm going to make these imprint stick, and I'm going to show you in a moment. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go grab my bone meal and start my bee attractor, which I, as I told you, was a quest. Let's go look at this. Claim this quest, claim back. So next step is making an apiary. But if you remember uh, a couple of episodes ago, it's something I could make. So I ended up making it thinking that I could breed my bees. But I had forgotten a very important concept with the apiary. So let me put the apiary one right here. And let me go get some uh, bone meal because like I said, we need the flour. And I could grab some of the flour we have. And you know what? I'm just going to make it easy for now. I can do the rest in a time lapse. I'm going to grab 12 of each flour. Oh, or maybe just 8 of the red one. And I'm going to go and put those on the ground. It really doesn't matter the position. As long as there's some around. Everywhere. Because bees need flour to pollinate so this is the part of the mod pack that's kind of real, realistic toward what happens with bees. And now we're good. So we have this bee attractor that once I start feeding it oil, is going to attract a ton of bees. And this works faster than I can keep it oiled or powered. It's crazy. Once I start it up, I put some oil. I'm going to put some oil in it. It's going to... Everything's going to fill immediately. Now this apiary... Ha, huh. it needs a queen and it needs a drone and it's supposed to produce other drones or honeycomb. We're not getting honeycomb really easy. And there's a very simple reason for that. The, sh the drop rate on apiary is super low. And I was expecting the quest to tell us about this, but the quest is not talking about something that's really important that I'm going to show you right now. If I take these impregnated stick and I come right here, 
I can craft something that's called a frame if I remember the term. Huh? Let me just do R on this. Oh, sorry, I need some impregnated frame. I need some strings. So I'm going to need three strings. Let's go grab my three strings. Come back here. And these are going to make impregnated frame. There are multiple level of frames. Impregnated frames is the second best. So frame. You see, oh, wow. Magic frame, gentle frame. Okay, I didn't know there were these many. But as you can see, if you look at the untreated frame, it doubles the speed of the production and it makes the decay being 0.9 time and the durability is 80 use. The impregnated frame is genetic decay of 0.4, double production and durability of 240 use. The proven frame is like genetic decay lower and 720. But the proven frame, I didn't find the recipe. Like, it seems to just, this is how to repair one. This doesn't say how to make it. This doesn't say how to make it. It just, I haven't found the recipe. I'm thinking it might be luck. And then you could even put unbreaking on it. Or I think uh, mending. Uh, what's this one? This one. I don't know what this one does. Proven frame, nothing. I don't, so these are just useless. Oh, shadow step. Don't know what that does, but technically I think you can make them better. So this is a good in between frame. So that's what I kind of use. So I can put up to three frames in here and that's going to make the bee breeding better. Now we already have some bees. We have a steadfast princess of pristine stock. Not sure I want to use that one right now because using my bees might end up being a problem like before I start and there's always a chance that you kill your bee uh, through the process so you want to be careful I'm just going to take a quick look right now see if there's any other bees around oh yeah so steadfast drone steadfast princess pristine stock again and you know technically I have no guarantee that you playing this pack have been able to get a steadfast princess so I feel that it's, again, a bit kind of cheaty, not doing it the proper route, which is why I'm not going to really be doing it this way. Let me just go down the road. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to bring those here and I'm going to put all of my bees in this box. Oh, while we're at it, we made the apiary. We made the attracting bee, we can make a better home for bees. The bee house is better than the apiary, but cannot be automated. So it can be automated, but it really works better. The problem is to make a bee house, you need some honeycomb. So I'm still stuck on having a honeycomb to be able to make my bee house. And I want to make sure that I get a, bee uh, a honeycomb as soon as possible, which is why I made the impregnated casing. So this is ready. Now I just need to get some uh, some bees. Do I have a bucket in here? Yes, I have a bucket. So I'm going to put a bucket in there and look at this. Boom, boom, boom. It's all filling that quickly. And I'm already out of seed oil. So I can grab all of these and bring them over to my case right here. So the important one are the princess. I only have a forest princess of ignoble stock. So if I look at... And I just lagged. Very sorry about that. I've been recording for 28 minutes. So that actually makes sense. I should have restarted by now. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to wait one moment. This lag's over. I'm going to just restart quickly and get right back to you. Just a moment, please. And I'm back. I forgot to press record, so I lost 12 seconds. But as you can see, nothing changed in my inventory. I didn't give myself anything. And I would have to restore from a backup and lose everything. So sorry, first time ever, there's like a 10 second loss in one of my episodes. You can see it by the time cut at the top. You'll see it went from like 1440 to 15 something. Really sorry about that. There's nothing I can do without restarting the whole episode. And I never do that unless I lose everything. Okay, so bee breeding. We need princesses. We have these two, which I don't want to use, and we have a forest princess. And if I look at forest princess, 
and I right click, you'll see that they can be um, used with different drone to get a common. So when you do a forest and a meadow and you breed them together, there's a 15% chance that you get a common. And modest, tropical, all of the wintry, marshy, forest. Oh, sorry. So if you get it with wintry, marshy, meadow, modest, and tropical, which are the basic bees, there's a 15% chance you get a common. If you do it with a forest, there's a 12% chance that you get a cultivated which is kind of another level. But these are all with pristine though. And then if I get a um, meadow with a forest, I can get a leperine, a wintry with a forest, I can get a merry. So you can get all of these different kind of bees. And you can technically just like start uh, going, up the, going up the path. Because if I have a cultivated queen, oh, sorry, if I have a common queen now, with a cul common and forest, I can get a cultivated, cultivate. See how easier it is to get cultivated now and not just a co common? And a common and a cultivated will give you a noble. If you right click on a noble, well, a noble and a cultivated will give you a majestic. A noble and a majestic will give you an imperial. So you can basically just go up the, um, the, the tree of... Uh, basically like a, a, a tree with branches and you this one brings you to that higher one which brings you to that higher one which brings you to a higher one right now we just want to get this started so I'm going to do with a forest drone and I'm going to use two forest drone well I don't need two forest drone but I'm going to put the princess right here and the two forest drone right there and now this is like loading charging it's not producing anything it's just charging one of the drones disappears and now this is going to go down slowly until it produces a result. Uh, temperature is good, humidity is good. I have the right flowers around because this is a forest drone. We're in a forest biome and we have some flowers. So we're all good. But this is going to take a while and it doesn't work at night. And then at the end, it's going to give us, let's see, night. Not bright enough. Trees have trouble navigating the dark. The bees can only work during daytime. So now that we're night, this is not going to work anymore. Which means I'm going to have to do something else for the time being. So in my time lapse, I'm going to be making three more apiary because I can't have only one running at a time. I'm going to put them in the corner there, there, and there. And I'm just going to try and have as many bees producing stuff as possible. Because let's look at the quest line, okay? The next step of quest for bees is basically, well, a lot of thing is unlocked. But... The next level here is to make silk from bee. Jungle bees can produce silk, okay? Oh, wrong click. Then honey, one of the most common bee product is honey. Well, not really. Honey drop, if I do a research for honey drop, that's not what a bee makes. Honey drop you get from a comb that gets put into a centrifuge. So you see every type of comb give different output. See this one gives a white colored honey drop and beeswax and sometimes a honey drop. The otherworldly comb gives a honey drop 100% of the time, some beeswax and sometimes some magic wax and all of these kind of different ones. So we know we need honey so almost any honey comb will do that. For the silk from bee we need a silk wisp so we're just going to do the search. Silk wisp. Silk wisp is something that you get from putting in a centrifuge a silky propolis. How do we get a silky propolis? You get it by putting to a centrifuge a silky comb. How do you get a silky comb? You get a silky comb from a tropical 20% of the time, from an exotic 30% from the, of the time, or from an ethnic 20% of the time. How do we get an exotic, let's say? So for an exotic, you need an austere and a tropical to get an exotic. So we're nowhere close to this. Or we could just get a tropical. But as you see, there's no way of crafting a tropical bee. So a tropical bee is something that you have to get from the bee attractor. My theory, and I'm not 100% sure on that, is that tropical bee needs some tropical tree. So if I remember correctly, I think that by doing this, Grabbing this and grabbing some of these. I'm going to grab four. By building 
kind of a tree and someone just came to knock at the door so I'm gonna have to pause and I'll be right back okay and that was a weird knock but it's done so one of the thing that you can do is I think I can just build a fake tree like this and put some uh, what's it called some uh, cocoa bean on it because I think that the cocoa bean is a kind of flower that jungle want so I'd be curious now to see what this would do so let's just try this quickly if I put this like that I have a bucket put another bucket in here and now mystical meadows marshy oh that's close okay do I have another bucket pretty soon 990 1000 it just it needs so much seed oil i wish i'd started it earlier so another marshy in another forest and some mystical i'm really not getting lucky with the princesses this is kind of ridiculous in my other playthrough when i tested this i got like a ton of princess almost right off the bat and now i have not a single princess whatsoever so i'm gonna need a ton more oil uh seed oil which means I'm going to need a ton more seed. Which brings me to a little something I wanted to talk quickly about. So I've done something that I usually try not to do, but I felt I had no choice. If you remember, my inserters were no longer working. Well, I discovered two things. There was a bug. It's undeclared on the Factory Tech website, where the insertion hatch were only able to input on the top, which is why I put that there, so you could see that. Uh, now, if I take some fish and I throw it back here, you see that they come here and get inputted in the top, no problem. If I, oh, I can't shift right click this. Oh no, it didn't even work. Oy. This is just, I thought that the update had worked, but uh, it doesn't seem to. It's a known bug that they're working on. And for the auto crafter here, the known bug, if I've understood correctly, is that anything that's a gated recipe doesn't work. So in the gated recipe, if I remember correctly, and I saw that in another uh, playthrough, is that crafting river grates is something that you need like to make a stack of. If I try to build something else, let's say, I think this is stairs. See, this works. As long as it's not one of the gated recipes, it works. If you're trying to make one of the gated recipe, then no luck. So, I just want to confirm. Wow. I just want to confirm what I'm saying because if it works for everything other than gated recipe, it means that I can put pumpkins in here and yeah, it's going to give me pumpkin seeds. Voila. So now I have auto crafting of pumpkin seed. The reason that's good is that uh, I can automate. Where are they disappearing? Oh, okay. I'm like, where are they disappearing to? Here. I completely forgot I had the range collector here. So I'm going to let that go, but it means I can automate this. So one of the things I'm going to do in my time lapse, since I'm going to need a crazy amount of seed oil, is I'm going to set up my... Uh, pumpkin extraction to a chest uh, to an ender chest and I'm going to set the ender chest to and I'm going to send the set my ender chest to output into an auto crafter and the auto crafter is going to auto craft my pumpkin into seeds like this and then it's going to throw it in this hopper so that we can make some seed oil but this is still a slow process but don't worry, I have a solution for that. So I don't know if you remember, in a couple of episodes ago, we made these circuits. And I'm finally going to show you how they work. An integrated circuit board fits four electron tubes. So I'm going to grab one of those, and I'm going to grab a soldering iron, and I'm going to grab a blazing electron tube. I'm going to go right here. Do I have another blazing electron tube? No, I don't. And the golden electron tube is decreased power used by 10, so I'm going to keep two of those. And I'm going to go grab some, um, I'm going to go grab five blazing powder, three, four, five. You know what? I'm going to grab 15. Oh, 
I let my game pause while I went to enter the door, and of course that still counts as the game being open, and it still counts toward my lag. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this in here, and oh, I need sand. I'm gonna grab a stack of sand because sand is no longer a problem, so I don't mind just putting a stack of sand in there for later use. And this is this is working. What's the recipe for blazing? It's exactly that. Oh, it's not. It doesn't have any power. I really need to resolve my power situation. So in the next episode or two, my power is going to have to be one of my uh, one of my main goal. So let's put that in here, which is going to give me power, which is going to give me some blazing electron tube, and I only need two. So now the way this works is I use a soldering iron like this. I shift right click. Huh? No. So I right click, sorry. And then it gives me this. I can make a circuit for an automatic farm for a machine upgrade or for a manual farm. I want for a machine upgrade. So I need to put four into it. So I'm going to put two blazing electron, which is going to give it twice speed boost too. So both is going to give a speed increase of 25%, but it's going to increase the power used by 10%. Since I have a power problem right now, I'm going to put two machine efficiency, which is going to reduce the power cost. So now, so now the intricate circuit is made and it gives uh, extra 50% speed, but without the extra 20% cost. What is going on with my game? This is the weirdest thing ever. Uh, I think I know what's going on. Let me put that in here. No. Automatic farm. I put it, when I reloaded, I put it in the wrong thing. Oh, so this is kind of sad because I'm going to need to make another one and I'm going to need a couple of ones. So I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make, well, well, not 12. I'm going to make four, which means I need 16 gold. No, 12 gold. I'm grabbing 13. I don't want to have to recount this 12 time. And come right here. Remove this. Go like this. Go like this. And... I don't know why I made these many basic circuit. I probably forgot the tin in there, thinking King, that I was going to need some more, but I'm not going to need some more. And I thought that I could remove stuff from it, but it doesn't seem to be working. So let's go right here. I have bronze, which I don't want. So well, that's one. I need some more blazing electron tube. And you know what? I'm going to put three, and I'm too bad if the cost increase. I'm going to live with it. So machine upgrade, three and one, and then transform this. And now it is for a socketed machine. So this time I'm going to be allowed to put it in and I put it in and now it's going much faster, but look at the power. So it's overusing the power. So it's not helping anything because it's now slowed back down because of power. But if I could get a better cable on this, I'd be able to keep it fed. I'm going to put the bucket here to get a seed oil bucket and I'm going to put it in the attractor and I'm going to see what I get. So I get an infernal drone, which is amazing. And I'm getting some good drones, but I'm not getting any princess. So that is really kind of annoying because as you've seen, this whole process works based on princess. So if I'm not getting any more princesses, I'm not moving my progression towards something better. This is still waiting. You see how long this is? It's been almost a day and I still haven't produced anything. Let me grab another bucket and please get... Oh, a mystical princess. Good. A meadow princess. Okay. I'm happy about this run. So it's all luck based. So you can be sure that as part of my time lapses, I'm going to always be checking this. And technically what I'd like to do is automate pushing the oil in here. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. That's going to take a moment. So let me grab an extraction pump and let me grab some pipes. Oh, the new model for the pipe, by the way, because as I was trying to fix my product problem, one of the thing I did was upgrade to 
at 1.15.3, I think, or 15.3, something like that. I, I don't remember which version it is, but it's the one that was supposed to fix the issue for the insertion, but as you saw, that didn't work. So I'm going to put this right there, this right there, turn this around, and pipe oil right into here. So now it's putting the seed oil. Oh, an unusual princess and a wintry drone. So hopefully I'm going to get one of each princess because I, I really want to get a, um, I, I need a tropical princess for sure. That being said, uh, I have these cocoa beans, but that might not be what the bee attractor is looking for. So I'm also going to do some research on the bee attractor to see how, is it just 100% random? or is it something that I can have control over? We have a meadow, I have a mystical, I have an unusual. So the, oh, and pristine, ignoble, ignoble, this one's pristine. Pristine is always good because it's a better quality uh, prince, uh, bee, but you know, you get what you can. So like I said, we need the silk, which means tropical. We need honey, which is almost anyone. We're gonna need some type of propolis. I don't know which one yet, so we'll know later. We're going to need some beeswax, some refactory wax, some magic wax. All of those wax I showed you before, they come from different types. So refractory wax comes from simmering comb or molten combs. Those are the only two it comes from. Uh, the simmering combs come from sinister, fiendish, or demonic. So I'm going to have to produce one of those. The fiendish also brings ash and the demonic also has a chance of giving glowstone or transmuting. So I'm going to have to make one of those bees. The magic wax can come from a papery comb, a transmuting comb, a otherworldly comb, temporal comb, memory comb, occult comb, mundane, windy. So none of these are kind of a good one. Fiery, watery. So maybe from the watery bees, I'm going to be able to get one. I'm just not sure. Maybe from the papery comb also. Although I'm not quite sure why it would be useful. And the papery combs come from... Pupils, scholarly or savant, so not one of the bees that I have right now. So all of this is all dependent on the type of bees that we have. And then we're going to want phosphor. And phosphor, that's not easy. Phosphor, we're going to get phosphor. We're going to get from a simmering comb. And again, like we said, the simmering comb comes from sinister, fiendish, or demonic. So fiendish, fiendish, we get from... A cultivated and a sinister or a sinister and a modest or a sinister and a tropical so we need basically we need a sinister whatever we do we need at least a sinister and to get a sinister we have to put a cultivated with a modest or a cultivated with a tropical so we really need to get to our first cultivated princess ASAP and the first cultivated princess is going to need at least a common bee or a sorcerer oh I have a mystical so technically, if I have some common drones and a mystical princess, there is a 12% chance. That's not a high percentage, though, although they're all 12%. But it means that regardless of what I do, I need common because either I need a common, like in the main recipe like this, or I need a common drone. I don't have a common drone. Common drone is not something that you grab. So I need to make some common bees. So it's really going to have to be my first kind of imp Oh! Haha! <laughs> See? It's been producing and I have my two honeycomb. I'm glad about that because technically if I go back to... Which one was it? Life in the forest? If you remember the you've got mail. Mail. So the... Was it the... No, the mailbox I already made. Was it the stamp? Stamp. So I need to make a stamp which needs three honey drop. Oh no, not this one, the orange stamp. Oh, still three honey drop and three copper ingot. And we needed to make, what was the other thing? We needed to make a letter. What was the letter again? Letter. So we needed to make a letter, which is, oh, I still need propolis, any kind of propolis. So propolis, I'm going to make with some comb. And I don't think that you get it from a regular comb. So. A regular honeycomb in a centrifuge only gives you beeswax and honey drop at 90% chance. So I'm going to need a different kind of honey. That said, where's my centrifuge? 
right here. I can put my centrifuge down right here and I can start transforming those. And I could also put a socket here to make it faster. That's why I made uh, three more because I'm going to want a second squeezer to squeeze oil faster because oil is really my problem and I'm going to need oil in my carpenter. So I need this squeezer to fill oil into that and I need another squeezer to fill oil into my carpenter. So I'm going to need some speed upgrade there and I want to upgrade my centrifuge, but I have my honey drop, which completes another quest for today. So if I go back to bees, that also complete this quest. Claim. Which unlocked the propolis and propolis basically want any kind of propolis. So the second that we start making some different kind of uh, uh, bees, some other kind of uh, comb, there's a chance I'm going to start getting propolis. I also have some beeswax, which is a starter for this one, but this is the easiest wax to get. So there's nothing to be excited about because this one I was going to get very easy at any time. But I get... Oh, oh I used my two comb. I needed to keep one for the bee house. That Oh, I got another one here. So you see, my force princess is still good. And I have three more drones. So now if I put all of this together, I restarted the whole process and I'm going to need some more. I, I'm going to make some more. So now that I have the comb, I can make the bee house. All I need is... All I need is some wood and some slabs. So let's come right here. It's three slab across and it's, where's my wood? Wood, 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 wood. Uh, I'm not finding any wood. So easy recipe is to convert some slab into wood like so. And I'm going to put five wood like so and the comb right there to get a bee house. So that's another quest done. Let's just grab this loot chest. No, not like this. And now everything is really dependent on breeding bees. So let me just go put down the bee house. I'm going to put the bee house down right here. So the bee house is a better version of the apiary, but that goes really faster. So I just basically need to start breeding bees in this one but it's going to go slower let me just let's take a meadow princess and let's grab some meadow drone and let's go back in here and let's just get this started let's put a meadow princess some meadow drone and this is also going to be working so now we have two working so the bee house is supposed to be better i'm just not sure that it's going to be really that much better than the apiary with the three impregnated frame but i'm getting this to run as fast as possible no more princess so i really need to empty this but it brings me to my time lapse it's going to be time to go in my time lapse in my time lapse i'm going to be converting wow oh, this is noisy i'm going to be converting all of this into blocks because for the next episode, I basically need 630 bronze ingot to make 109 bronze gear and to make, I'm going to need 3 opera, 28 piston and 57 diamond. Because I'm going to be crafting all of the machines for the force mutation, for the automatable apiary and for the simpler gene copying. Gene copying, I have no interest in getting into. I'm going to explain to you what it's for, but I'm not interested in doing that because... I'm only doing the bees minimal to get through the whole thing. For the automatable apiary, well, that's going to make my apiaries much better because the industrial apiary, you can put an automation upgrade in it, which lets it be automated. A lifespan upgrade, which means that your bees live way longer. A production upgrade, which makes it faster. And you can put up to eight. So look at this, plus 20%. So if I can keep it fed with power, this could go up to 8 times 2, so 160% faster. The genetic stabilizers for when you use genetic to modify the bees, which I don't want to do. Uh, because basically some bees have complicated needs. Some bees have to be in the dark always or be uh, in the nether or stuff like that. And I don't want to have to deal with this. So I'm probably, you could use a genetic upgrade to modify the bee and splice it with a gene that says that you don't need the nether. But instead of doing that, if you look at the upgrades, 
there's an upgrade here called Hell Emulation Upgrade. With a Hell Emulation Upgrade, I can use, I can do the Hell Bees without having to be in the nether and without any problem. So that's the route that I'm going to be going, which is why I'm going to need the Industrial Apiary. And the Force Mutation, well, that's a way of really making it easier of breeding the bees. Because as you saw when I was showing you, if I go back to the uh, Princess, uh, Princess, and I look at, oh, this is so complicated. A Tomb Princess. No, not the Tomb Princess, the Supernatural Princess. So the Supernatural Princess, you get it from a charm and an enchanted with an 8% chance. 8%, that's low. So you want one, you want to use the mutagen to try and make sure that your upgrades are working or have a higher chance. So we're going to make the mutagen producer to create mutagen. We're going to make the mutatron and we're going to, as a quest request, transform the mutatron into an advanced mutatron immediately so that we have much better uh, results. So that's where we're going with all of this. Next episode, going to make all of these machines, like I just said, and I even my my count of all the bronze that I need also includes making the creating life machines, just because I know what they are. So I was able to look it up already. Whereas these, I'm going to try and do during my time lapse. So in my time lapse, gonna make the bronze, gonna continue the bee breeding down there, gonna continue looking into this. Uh, this production of bees right here to make sure that I keep getting more and more bees and hopefully getting the princesses that I'm missing. I'm going to look how to get the tropical princess because that's one I really want. Uh, well, it's not that I really want it. It's that I need it. Without a tropical princess, I won't be able to uh, move forward. So tropical princess. Oh, it is breedable. So I can make. No, that's an exotic. So it's not breedable. So I need to get a tropical princess and I'm only going to get a tropical princess based on luck, it seems. But don't worry, I'm going to do some research on that. So I'm going to need to work, continue working on my bees and I want to automate the seeds, the uh, pumpkin seeds, like I said, and I want to continue working on my power. Like I've been making some space, I'm going to continue moving this, but the idea is really to uh, use the, this is the lubricant, this is, which one is this one? Bio, biodiesel, I think. Really? I need to hold a bucket to know what it is, so gasoline, lubricant. So I think it's the diesel that I'm going to use. I want to make the big uh, production, the big power production from immersive engineering, because from the research I've done, it's going to give us a crazy amount of power and it's going to solve all of our power problem for the longest while so i'm going to be crafting a lot of af power cable to be able to move the big quantity of power anywhere in the base and i'm going to use the mv wire uh mv or no the hv wire so that when i connect to a machine i have the max amount of power possible if i go back to immersive at immersive i'm also going to want to start storing power and to store power, you need to make these, uh, I'm searching for them, these capacitor. So there's an LV, an MV, and an HV capacitor. And the HV capacitor, I don't remember how much power it can hold, but it's a crazy amount of power. So I want to start storing that. And it's not that expensive. It's a block of redstone, which we can easily get, steel that we have a ton, and a block of lead. So lead is going to be my problem. But when I say that lead is going to be my problem, uh, I'm going to just start a batch of lead alchemical. I'll, I'm just going to start a batch of lead alchemical dust. So I'm going to be using this clay. So I'm going to be using clay and blaze powder to get it started and start cooking it so that I have. So these are all of the things that I want to start doing in my time lapse. And I'm going to try and put as much work I can into this to uh, move forward as fast as possible, but you'll be you'll be seeing me traveling back and forth. Oh, an oblivion drone. You'll see me travel back and forth nonstop here to make sure that these are working. And you know what? If my carpenter gets full from the second squeezer, I might end up pumping both into here because until I get the princesses that I want, see, I still haven't had a single tropical one. 
which means I'm sure that I'm missing something from Tropical. So until I get that really sorted out and I have the bees that I need, I'm going to be going back and forth and taking care of my bee production more than anything else. So guys, that's going to be it for now. We're going to continue in bees next episode. And whenever, oh, sorry, that's the last thing I wanted to say. Whenever we get stuck on bees, whenever bees is a problem, we're not moving forward, we're going to default back to a true blacksmith. We're just going to go back to this to be able to do something while we're waiting for the proper bees that we need. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.